Okay, I was... Uh, that's a good news for this librarian. I was just at uh, Bedronka right now and what I'm gonna do is... Well, I did spend 4.5 zloty. You know, something... You know, I have never treated myself like this. I never would have done stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, regardless of how filthy this whole thing is, regardless of... She was involved in it. Entire library stuff here uh, were involved in MK Ultra. Kaczynski involved all the librarians, whatever, whichever library pertained to vicinity of immigration center uh, they all were involved and it was this ladies that they have even abused big time these politicians these business people hard situation for them i have to say for many of them but for some of them I guess not so hard you know for me as much as situations they had they have created here in the past in the moment, and right now throughout this immigration procedure uh, regardless of all this I have always reserved regardless of all the difficulties I have reserved a little space in me uh, known as dignity and so for that little Dunkin' Donut that I ate this morning, look at this, I'm about to give back 12. And I hope that's going to make her uh, feel healthier. She said, Nazdravia, she said to me. Nazdravia, to health, she said to me this morning. You know, I'm not the one who is afraid of anybody, especially not of health services, despite everything they have done to me, actually you have done to me because you had entire Ljubljana Psychiatric Hospital not entire but many psychiatric uh, staff people from Ljubljana Psychiatric Hospital many, okay. at least Andrea Jeric was here they had this few other people and even some nurses from psychiatric hospital here uh, in 2005 2006 uh, at this location here in, in, in Zgirsh and in other parts of Poland too that just explains how much your Polish health system itself is related to Slovenian ordeal where I ran from yeah, and I'm gonna repeat to you it's not I'm afraid of you it's you that is afraid of me. You fear me big time. You actually cannot even sleep when you see my videos. This one here is going to dig you. This one here, I bet it digs you into the last particle of brain. And you know why it's like this? It's because, like, you don't have what it takes to be a human being, you know, to, to fit standards of a normal human being. You don't have what it takes to accept responsibility for what you have done. You are the one running away from crime. And you think you're going to make me accept some kind of non-humane standards and lower myself to your views somehow, your distorted views. But it's like you said, I am near reformovani. I'll stick to my principles. See, it's not me that, that, that I'm afraid, it's you. If you wouldn't be afraid, you would have recognized the whole ordeal, the whole thing you have done. But instead of that, you're fear, you're scared, you're hiding behind the walls, behind these cameras, and the only thing you hope for is... Oh, isn't that pathetic what you hope for? Folks, uh, this here was not the only thing that ended up like this. I did the same thing to this librarian lady over there in Grotniki. It was the same thing. She did the same thing. And, you know, when you, you know, this is the only thing I do is it doesn't matter how hard I give back like this. That's all there is to it. Dignity is really, really, really important to me. Dignity is like, uh, 
it's like a safety valve that actually tells you uh, that something is like really 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 wrong that something is like happening like really really wrong on other levels and it's why you should reconsider and think over uh, basically the whole thing okay let's go and we're gonna give this back to this librarian and we're gonna we're gonna wish her nazdravia we're gonna wish her to health or to hell whatever <laughs>